Did you know a simple control like a text box can greatly impact the look and feel of your application? Well, the new Binifu text box is awesome, and I will tell you why. First give me a like and subscribe to this channel. If you like this content, that will greatly help my channel a lot, and it will motivate me to create more awesome videos. We are giving out a special offer for this month. Check the video description for the links, and grab yourself a copy at an affordable price. Binifu Textbox is an input type control that packs a punch of features designed to take your input designs to a whole new level. Binifu Textbox also provides state change animations. We'll now take a look at some of its best features, to give you a heads up on what to expect once you have your own copy. So let's hop in. Firstly off, start Visual Studio and ensure you've added Binifu Textbox to Visual Studio's toolbox. You can achieve this by installing Binifu Framework via NuKid. Once done, simply locate Binifu Textbox inside the toolbox, and drag it onto your form. To quickly customize Binifu Textbox, simply click on the play button on the top right corner to access the feature, and change the most common textbox properties, it is usually called smart tags. Let me showcase some of my favorite features. A placeholder is a character, word, or string of characters, that temporarily takes the place of the final data. A programmer might use placeholders to provide hints to the end user. The Nifu Textbox gives you the ability to provide text placeholders to help inform users of the kind of content required before entry. States allow you to control how the text box will look like when it's on idle state, active state, hovered state, and disabled state. When put to good use, you can create some remarkable experiences in your interfaces. They also come with state change animations to help create a visual flow when moving from one input to another. You can control how fast the animations move using the property animation speed. Likewise, you can disable these animations by setting the same property animation speed value to 1. Now that's awesome. That's what states help you achieve. They really assist you create great user experiences by providing visual feedback to users when interacting with inputs. You can use the method reset colors to reset or refresh the color animations when modifying the state's colors at runtime. By default, you can switch between two defined styles in Binifu Textbox using the style property. These styles are Binifu and Material. The standard Binifu style provides full borders, while the Material style provides an underlined border. The same states will still be used when interacting with the Material style, so no worries or changes when supplied. Pinifu Textbox also supports multi-line strings. The multi-line property provides the same awesome experience as seen in single-line inputs, sometimes called text area. Yeah. 
You can also tweak the input's margin in relation to the container using the text margin left and text margin top properties. Dinifu Textbox also supports icons that let you provide context to your inputs. You can set these icons to appear on the left and right sides of the control for maximum flexibility. Here's a preview of this feature in action. As you may have noticed, you can also provide a click event for the left and the right icon. You can do this using the events on icon left click and on icon right click respectively. These custom events are very useful. With this feature, you can provide a file selection input and provide a manual path entry as an alternative option. These are a few scenario tips that can get you going when customizing inputs for users. Of course, you can provide validations for your inputs using a great library such as Fluent Validation. It's pretty awesome what you can achieve in the process. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. Now that was a pack full of neat features. We've managed to cover the most essential features in Unifu Textbox. But not to worry, more features are actually coming in future releases. If you've made it so far, give this video a like, and also don't forget to subscribe. Check the video description for the download links. Thank you all for watching.